In order to work with base numbers, you can go into insert right here. And here you can see base numbers. Once you click on this, you can see that there are some preset options. So you can start it from top left, center, top right, or have it on the bottom corner. So I'm going to have it on bottom left. So once I do that, you can see that on the first base, if I were to scroll down, there's the base number, just the base number right there. You go over here and the base number is at the bottom left of all of the bases right there. Another thing I can do is I can go into the base number and format the base numbers. Uh, the number format right now is one, two, three. So you can set it to Romanized numbers, A, B, C, or first, second, third, and so forth. I'm just gonna leave it up to that. I can also start uh, this section with a different sort of a number. So you can see that you can start from base number five or so forth. But over here, I'm just gonna start from one and press OK. So you can see that there's all the page number right there, one, two, three, and so forth. Now, in order to edit it and give it some style, I can go into my master page. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go into my page design, I'm gonna go into my master page and edit master page. And over here, there's the footer area, as you can see. So now you can go into the text tool options and then increase the master page right here. So I'm going to increase the font size just like this. I'm going to center align this or maybe add in some uh, elements over here. For example, I can add in something like some um, tilt key right here. So you can add in some designs just like this and say something like page, just like that. So that has been added and this number represents the page number uh, in the master page. So let me just close the master page and here you can see that there's page one, there's page two and three, there's page four and five, six and seven and eight respectively. But let's say I wanna do something different and I wanna have the page number over here on two pages uh, for the two pages on left and right respectively. In order to do that, I can work with master page again. So I can go into master page, edit master page just like this and add master page just like this. So I'm gonna add in master page B and this is going to be a uh, two side. So I'm going to just uh, delete this out because I want a two page master. I'm just gonna add a master page right here, two page master. This is gonna be the master page. This one just delete it out and press yes. All right, for this one, I'm going to copy out the same option right here. So I'm going to copy this out, control C and go into C right here, press B and I'm going to just drag it over here. And for this one, I'm going to uh, format it to the left side, just like this. So I'm gonna format this to the left side on the, on the left top. And I'm going to copy and paste this out. So let me just copy and paste this out and put it on the right side right here. So just drag it out over here and put it on the right side, just like this. There you go. So uh, it has aligned in the left and right. Let's close the page. But here I still need to apply. So I'm going to choose the three pages right here. Right click, page number, uh, master page, and then select master page C. And there you go. You can see that there's page number one, which is at the center. And two, three is at the left and right, respectively, just like that left, right, respectively, just like that. So that is how you can work with page numbers inside of Microsoft Publication, uh, Microsoft Publisher. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.